Welcome to the MPM Learning Hub, and today we will continue our journey into the fascinating world of research with our new lesson, Errors in Stating Research Problems and Objectives. Some researchers only refer to past research evidence that shows similar findings on an issue being studied. They report either all positive statements or negative statements concerning an issue. And in these cases, the research problems are weakly stated because if all past research obtain the same findings, then there is no need for the researcher to conduct the study. This time, let us take a closer look and compare the two examples that use the four-step method. As you can see in example number one, the researcher followed the four-step method, wherein the first step is, a, is to define the base statement. The second is to check for the inconsistent statement. Third is the speculation and the framing of the research objective. As you can see, in the base statement, the researcher quoted Fried, the work of Friedrich in 2012 and Kin and Bu in 2011 that there was a significant difference between CBT and PPT on test performance. And the researcher also presented the inconsistent statements coming from the work of Masson in 2010, Richard and Tony in 2012. We also have here the Tom Keeve and Osborne in 2011. And as we read, some studies reported that there was no significant difference between CBT and PPT on test performance. And the work of Keeve, uh, Tom Keeve and Osborne also reported the 13% of the studies showed superiority for CBT, 48% of studies showed no difference, and 39% of studies showed superiority for paper pencil test. They reported that in most studies, the contents of CBT and the PPT modes were nearly identical, yet significant differences in the test performance are regularly observed. And because of these two statements that are contradicting with each other, the researcher can make up his or her speculation. And the speculations are as follows. Is CBT implemented in XYZ University effective in increasing test performance of the students? And number two, which is more effective? Is it CBT or PPT? Those are speculations, and those speculations are connected to the base statement and the inconsistent statement. And because of the speculation, the researcher was able to frame the research objective. And the research objectives are to identify the effectiveness of CBT in students' test performance and to compare the effectiveness of CBT and PPT on the test performance. In example number one, the research problem is clearly stated when the researcher reveals inconsistent statements of evidence. Speculations also or research questions were stated based on inconsistent statements, and the objectives are developed based on the speculation. So overall, example number one has a suitable problem and objective statement. Let us now have a closer look on example number two. In example number two, as we can see, here is the research problem and objective, of the state, uh, objective statements, and there is also a corresponding explanation in each step. The first one is the base statement, where the researcher quoted Williams in 2005 that according to Williams, split brain experiment on a group of split brain patients and reported that there was an association between right brain thinking style and creativity. This is an expression of the base statement. And based on that particular article, there is an association between right brain thinking style and creativity. However, there's supposed to be an inconsistent statement, the second step, the researcher quoted the work of Dunn in 2007, Hart in 2010, and Lee in 2006, that creativity university students, the creative university students exhibited right brain thinking style. Beside that, the researcher also quoted Hill in 2010, opined that university curriculum should be formed based on the right brain thinking style to enhance creativity in students. 
And in the explanation part, all statements are consistent with a base statement. Therefore, there is no conflict among the statement. So there is no research problem. Because all statements and research evidence show that right brain thinking style is associated with creativity. Even if there is no inconsistency of statements, the researcher tend to give his speculation. And according to our example, therefore, the objective of the study is to examine the association between right brain thinking style and the creativity of a group of local university students. And take note of this, that the objective is irrelevant because all statements and research evidence, that is what we have in our explanation, show that right brain thinking style of university students a student is associated with their creativity. Hence, it is irrational for the study to be carried out because there is no research problem. It is clear in example number two that the base statement and the supposed to be inconsistent statement are not really contradicting with each other. In fact, the two different statements are supporting each other. And so therefore, we can, we, there is a need for us to improve it. So example number two has no inconsistent statements. Therefore, it does not have a research problem. And no speculation needs to be stated. Without conducting the research, the researcher already knows that creativity is associated with right brain thinking style, thus the research objective is unnecessary. So the question now is, how can we improve it? So the answer is, we can improve it by adding inconsistent statement. So to correct it, let us have a closer look on how we can improve example number two. So in example number three, here is the improved version of example or table number two. As you can see, Williams in 2005, the Dunn 2007, the and Hart 2010, uh, Hart 2010 and Lee 2006 are all, since they are all supporting each other, they are expressed as the base statement. And there is, and according to, that, uh, to those studies, there is an association between right brain thinking style and creativity. What is added to improve the table or the presentation? is the inconsistent statement. So the researcher mentioned or quoted Klein and Smith in 2009, who reported that undergraduates with high creativity abilities exhibited a left brain thinking style. So there is now an association between left brain thinking style and creativity. Now the researchers ponder whether creativity associated with the right brain or left brain thinking style. And that can be a source of problem because the two statements now are contradicting with each other. And because there is a contradiction, now we can frame our research question. So in my, is, in my target population or a group of undergraduates, is there any relationship between creativity and brain thinking style? So that can be your speculation. So the speculation emerges from the inconsistent statement. Since there, since there are inconsistent statements, then we can have our speculation. And since we have our speculation, then we can provide, then we can pro proceed to the framing of our objective. If this study is to examine the relay, uh, so the objective now is, is to examine the relationship between creativity and brain thinking style. So the objective is consistent with the research problem. So example number three clearly shows that the inconsistent evidence creates doubts that enable the researcher to draft his speculation, which will become a research question later on. And finally, write the research objective. Through the four-step method, the process of stating the research problem, speculation, and objective is a continuous and a systematic process. Our basic knowledge in identifying the research problem is very important in the research process since we have to make sure that as a researcher, there, is, there must be an inconsistency of the research findings of the previous researchers because that particular phenomena is a potential topic in the present studies. So reading literatures and articles must be prioritized to start a research journey. 
So that concludes our lesson for today. I hope you learned something about errors in stating research problems and objecting. Thank you for joining and stay tuned for more lessons on research. See you next time.